important train problem. Today, I will tell you the four type of problems that you need to know. Anything apart from that is not necessary for any exam. These are the basic problems you should definitely know. So, type 1 is conversion. Type 2 is the time and distance formula. Type 3 is train an object. And type 4 is theory of relativity. In this video, we will be covering the first three types of the train problems. In the next video, we will be covering the theory of relativity. So, let's get started. So, the type 1 problem is conversion. So, conversion is a very simple problem that you may face in any exam. So, the conversion types are kilometers per hour to meters per second or meters per second to kilometers per hour. So, when the question has, you have to convert it from kilometers per hour to meters per second, always multiply by 5 by 18. When the question says, convert it from meter per second to kilometers per hour, multiply by 18 by 5. So, people get a lot confused by this 5 by 18 and 18 into 5. So, there is a simple way to remember. So, your answer, if it has to be in meters per second. So, what is meter? Meter is the smallest form when compared to the kilometer. So, always remember, if it's meter, smallest number 5 will be on your numerator. So, if it's meter, remember 5. So, kilometer is the highest form when compared to meter. So, when you have kilometer in your answer, you will be having the highest numerator, which is 18 by 5. Simple to remember, right? So, the type 2 of the train problems is time and distance formula. So, the formula that you have to remember here is speed is equal to distance by time. So, this is the most common question that you can face in any aptitude exam. So, they will either give you the distance and the time, they will ask you to find the speed or they will give you the speed and the time, they will ask you to find the distance or vice versa. So, this is a basic formula that one must know in a train problem. So, let's just solve a simple problem to understand the formula better. So, the question they have given here is, train is 200 meters long and it runs at 50 meters per second. So, when you see the question, always remember you write the given data so that you don't make a mistake. So, length is 200 meters. What is its speed? 50 meters per second. So, what are they asking? So, they are asking the time. So, length is nothing but the distance covered by the train. So, D is equal to 200 meters. So, what is the formula? Speed is equal to distance by time. So, we know the speed, 50. What is the distance? 200 by time. We have to find the time here. So, bring it here. 200 by 50. So, 4 seconds. Now you would have understand the formula much better. So, in this question you can see they have given the distance and asked you to find the time here. In certain question, they will give you the distance and the time, they will ask you to find the speed. Similar way, what they will do is that they will give you two variables out of this formula and ask you to find the third variable. So, with this simple example, you would have understood how we can use a formula. So, the type 3 problem that we are going to look in trains is train and an object. In the train and object, we have two types. One is a train crossing a pole or a man or a tree. The another type is bridge, tunnel or a platform. Let's get started with the pole, man or a tree. Let's take the train is crossing a pole or a man or a tree. How do you deal with this kind of stuff? So, we know the formula is speed is equal to distance by time. So, the distance that is covered by the train, let's say this is the train and this is the tree. Let's say the distance covered by the train to cross this tree is the length of the train. So, when we will tell the train has crossed the tree, when it has covered this distance and the back of the train comes here. So, the whole of the length. So, length by train, time taken. So, this is what we will consider in a pole, man or tree. Let's say for a bridge or a tunnel, let's take this is a train and this is a platform or a bridge or a tunnel whichever you may consider so length of the train is l1 and length of the bridge is l2 so when you will say the train has completely crossed the bridge when the back end of the train comes here that is 
when it comes to here you will say that the train has completely crossed the platform so the distance traveled by the train is the length of the train l1 and the l2 so speed is equal to distance by time distance traveled by the train is l1 plus l2 divided by t let's solve few problems to understand these two concepts much better so the first sum is a train is 300 meters long and is running at a speed of 54 kilometers per hour in what time it will pass a bridge of 100 meters long so as i said earlier always write the given data so given is length of the train is 300 meters speed of it is 54 kilometers per hour what is the length of the bridge 100 meters as you can see train and the bridge length is in meters but the speed here is in kilometers per hour so what we have to do first we have to convert it to meter per second now we know as per type 1 the conversion to convert it into meters per second we multiply it by 5 by 18 to 3 which is 15 meters per second so you know the train is crossing the bridge speed is equal to distance by time is the formula so distance covered by the train is the length of the train plus the length of the bridge so length of the train plus length of the bridge by the time taken by it so the question asking here is for the time so we take that in the numerator t is equal to length of the train plus length of the bridge is 400 divided by the speed which is 15 so once you solve it you will get the answer with the time taken for the train to cross the 100 meters bridge easy right so the next problem that we are going to look onto is a train covers 10 kilometers in 10 minutes if it takes 6 seconds to pass a telegraph post then what is the length of the train so that is the question so as usual write the given data so what they have told 10 kilometers in 10 minutes 10 kilometers in 10 minutes and just first let's write this so they have given the distance covered as well as the time taken so as usual we will find the speed of the train first speed is equal to distance by time so distance they have given in kilometers and this in minutes so let's convert it 10 into 1000 as we are converting it to meter per second divided by as they have given in minute so we have to multiply only by 60 so 10 into 60 which is 100 by 6 which is 50 by 3 so this is the speed of the train let's go to the second part of the question if it takes 6 seconds to pass a telegraphic post then what is the length of the train so we know the time taken is 6 seconds and we know the speed of the train which is 50 by 3 meters per second now we should find the length of the train so let's use a formula speed is equal to distance by time which is equal to length by time to find the length it is nothing but speed into time so what is the speed 50 by 3 into time taken is 6 seconds so 100 meters so the length of the train is nothing but 100 meters let's look on to the third problem so in the previous two problem we dealt with a single object and as well as a bridge problem separately in this question both are together it's a bit tricky but if you understand the concept it's very easy so the question is train moves past a man as well as a bridge of 260 meters long in 8 seconds and 10 seconds so what is the speed of the train so first let's write the given data so time taken by the train to cross the man is 8 seconds so speed is equal to distance by time so distance is nothing but the length of the train here so length of the train which is equal to speed we don't know that's what we're going to find it out and the time to cross the man is 8 seconds so let's take this as the equation number one. Second is to cross a bridge the same formula so here length distance here is length of the train plus the length of the bridge so length of the train plus length of the bridge 
Time taken to cross is 10 seconds and we don't know the speed. We can simplify it. So we know the length of the bridge which is nothing but 260 meters. So length of the train plus 260 meters is equal to 10s. So this is the second equation. Now we know the length of the train is nothing but 8 into s. So 260 plus 8s is equal to 10s. So if you simplify it, you take 8s over this side. So it is 2s is equal to 260. So s is equal to 130 meters per second. So now we have 